we host a supercomputer that is the one and only supercomputer in Zimbabwe that is, is there to save research, innovation and development issues to do with the national development. Um, I think the motivation behind acquiring a supercomputer was that um, we had uh, noticed that um, uh, most of our scientific work in the country that required um, a high computation analysis was being processed outside the country. And so this caused us to see the need that we needed to have this infrastructure. But also the motivation is that uh, modern science and technology and engineering in terms of its advances are being driven by computational analysis. And so any country that is to take its science and technology to a, a new and higher level needed, needs to have this infrastructure. The supercomputer is made up of a cluster uh, and the cluster is a collection of nodes. We have got 100 nodes within our supercomputer. We've got a heterogeneous system. We can do 36 trillion operations per, per second. That's the core business that we offer at this center. The, the supercomputer that we have here is used in a number of application areas. That is to do with the agriculture, weather forecasting, mining and geoscience. Uh, there is the area of um, finance and, uh, and commerce, there is the area of applied sciences, and then the, the area of e-government itself. And then one of the key areas, the daily weather focusing issue, which you are seeing it, 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 on the television, they are processed here, all the information is processed here. The global models that we used to use for forecasting, it used to be at an 80 kilometer resolution. But now, with the coming in of HPC, we are able now to, to narrow down to 4 kilometer resolution. Running this model on a desktop machine, uh, for, as an example, running for three days, it would take 10 hours just to run for, for, for those three days. But now, with coming in of HPC, we see that it only takes five minutes to run the same three-day forecast. Most of the drugs that we have on the market are made for specifically Caucasians, but now with this advent of supercomputer in our country, we can now draw, do homegrown solutions and design and develop drugs based on our genomics, and these drugs will aid uh, the facilitation of uh, availability of new medications for our population. And the supercomputer aids us in that we now narrow down the scope of a drug development program from the usual 15 years to about five years. We strongly encourage individuals institution, be it private or public institutions, academias, and everyone to come on board so that you make use of this infrastructure. It's, it must be consumed by all Zimbabweans and from all walks of life. We, we have invested the over $12 million in that first facility. But when you look at, for such a small investment, the gains we've made, for example, in accurate weather forecasting, uh, it's immeasurable. Uh, we were able to accurately predict that we, rains will not be good this year uh, using the supercomputer and uh, you know we were able to procure maize uh, you know well before time from that advice from the med meteorology department. We believe that uh, we still have more to get from the supercomputer and so when you compare 12 million but what about inventions in the scientific community, the ability of the country to do DNA analysis. All those are advances that uh, you cannot uh, place 12 million uh, on uh, as value. They're much more than that. Thank you.